Hello champions and future champions, hello chess mod family, GM Gabuzian is here with you and we are going on with our daily lesson. Today we are going to cover a very exciting topic, which is called Morphe's Mate. Morphe's Mate is a checkmate pattern that features a bishop and rook. It's named after the legendary American chess player Paul Morphe. So in this position rook is blocking some squares and bishop is mating from d4, so bishop is gonna be the mating piece. Let's now go ahead guys and begin to see examples in this topic. Now we are seeing another position very very similar to the previous one. The point I am showing you this is that we can be mating with the bishop check, also we can be making a checkmate with the rook check. So if we are having such a structure when bishop is supporting the rook, rook can be going to any square on the g file and it's just mating. So let's say rook g6. So now we are familiar how it's working and let's go ahead to see a little more difficult examples. This is the game of Morphe who is playing by black which is a brilliant game and in this position black is having a winning continuation. You can pause the video guys and try to think about it. So black is beginning with very amazing queen sacrifice. The idea is now we are opening the pawn chain which we are covering white king and after takes and rook g6 white has to go king h1. Now our attack is beginning with bishop h3. Now we are just threatening to play bishop g2 and bishop f3 checkmate. If here white is going rook g1, we are simply mating with takes, takes and rook e1. So after queen f1 we are just going to take and this is the mate. If after bishop h3 white is going queen to d3, we are just playing extremely strong f5 move. Again threatening to play bishop g2, bishop f3 checkmate. Now if white goes rook g1, the same checkmate is available as you saw previously. And after queen c4, king f8, queen f4, we are making another great move by black. You can pause the video guys and think about it. If now we play suddenly bishop g2, it's a big mistake. Since after king g1, bishop f3, white has queen g3. And white will be staying with an extra exchange. Instead, after queen f4, we are just able to play bishop f2, which is just mating on the next move. Being without a queen, Blake is just having a crushing attack with all the pieces. And white pieces on the queen side are out of the game. So, those were the sidelines and in the game, after bishop h3, it has happened rook d1. Now it's going on with bishop g2 check, king g1, bishop f3, king f1, bishop g2 check, king g1, bishop h3. King h1, bishop takes f2, and after queen f1 and bishop f1, black is having a decisive advantage due to some extra material. After rook f1 in the game, it has happened rook e2 with a huge activity. But after king g1 in this position, black was having a mating idea, which is really just great. We are able to play bishop e4 check, king f1, and just bishop f5. The thing is now, bishop h3 is unstoppable. Rooks are blocking the king options. This bishop is taking the square on f2, so f3 or f4 is no reasonable as well. And if white is going queen e2, bishop h3, king e1, and rook g1 is just mating. So with the beginning crazy queen f3 sacrifice, black won such a beautiful game, guys. I hope you like this complex example, and let's go ahead to see the next one. In this position guys, it's white to move, you can be pausing the video and thinking how to play here for white. Since bishop is on d4 and rook on c7, there is a cooperation on g7 square. So we are figuring this out and easily finding queen takes e6, queen takes, rook e6, pawn takes, rook g7 check, king h8 and rook g6 is just mating after e5, bishop takes e5, Rook f6 and bishop takes f6. So another time we are seeing Morphe mate on the board guys. Let's go ahead to see the next one. Here we are having a position where white is missing a piece but black king is very much weakened. So you can pause the video and try to figure out how to play this for white guys. We need to remove this bishop from this square so we can activate our the rook and we are playing bishop b7. Queen b7, rook g3 check. Black is going king h8. And now is the punchline of this position. If we play e6, 
f6 is possible, even though here white is also winning with queen d8, I would offer you just to play queen d8 in this position. Queen d8, rook d8 and d6 check. Black has no choice but to go f6, and after bishop takes f6, white is winning all the material. Queen g7, bishop takes, king g8, bishop f6, and we're also winning the rook on d8. So with the same idea, we made a huge pressure on opponent's king and managed to win all the pieces, guys. Let's go ahead to see the next one. Here again, it's white to move, and we're having a very strong attack, but missing a piece. So you can pause the video and think how will you play this for white. Now, the bishop on f6 is very much protected, we can't be taking it. If we try to take rook takes g4, with an idea after bishop c3 take and make the mate, it's not working out, since after rook g4 black has several moves, black can be capturing on g4 with the pawn or with the rook, and it's gonna be fine, so no longer mate is available. For this reason, we are beginning with very strong rook d6 move, just covering this queen, which is no longer protecting the bishop on f6. So now if black takes with the pawn, queen f6, knight f6 and bishop takes, is just mating. Otherwise, after rook d6, any other move is losing the queen, so white is again gonna be winning. Also, if black is taking the queen, we are just taking a back and again the same mate after bishop d4 and bishop takes f6 if black is giving away all the pieces, finally mating. So we have seen another attack guys, I hope you liked this and let's now go ahead to the next position where you will be getting your homework for this topic. Here it's a white to move and there are some very interesting options which you can try to find. You can share your thoughts and ideas in the comments section below. Jim Gabuzian was here with you. Thank you for your subscriptions, likes and sharing this video with your friends. We appreciate it a lot. See you next time during our next daily lessons.